everyone. We're back for part two now. Continuing on with my melts. This is from Tart House in the scent of spring. It's just a really nice orange cinnamon clove kind of smell. Now I have Scentsy's. Well, these are my clamshells now. This is from Scentsy French Toast. And this pretty much is what the name says. It smells like a nice cinnamony French toast smell. And it's really toned down. Like, it's not as strong as cinnamon as you would think it would be. So it was nice. And then from Febreze, Chai Latte. I decided to give this a shot. I'm going to have to try it again because I didn't get nothing from it. And on cold smell... It smells amazing. You really get that nice chai latte, but warmed, I didn't get much. So I will try that again before I say I don't like it. All right, I got to move these out of the way. They keep sticking to my arm. Okay. <laughs> didn't work. Sensationals, Applicious. This is just a nice a bunch of apples. You get the tart, you get the sweet, and you get a light cinnamon. I love that scent. I can't say enough about it. This is the black raspberry vanilla. It is amazing. It's just a nice blackberry vanilla scent. There's really not a whole lot to elaborate on, and it is strong. Honeysuckle nectar. This is a really pretty floral, but it does have a good bit of perfumey in it. Um, it's just a nice light honeysuckle, but it is kind of strong with like the perfuminess of it. This is... French lilac flower, and it pretty much just smells like really pretty lilacs. It's nice and soft, and it's amazing. I love that one as well. This is sunkissed tulips, and this is just a pretty soft floral. It's not really strong. I mean, it's strong when you warm it, but it's not like... It's not going to give you a headache. It's not headache-inducing for me anyway, because some florals give me migraines, but these haven't. These are good. All right, moving on. This is from Carolina Candle Barn, and this is in the scent of maple butter. And I love this when warmed. My husband didn't like it, but I loved it. It's a really nice maple pumpkin, and you smell it warm. Like, it's strong. I like it. So we'll melt it when he's not home. Sensationals is Coffee Cake Squirrel, and... <coughs> Excuse me. This reminds me of their cinnamon roll scent from Better Homes and Gardens. So I kind of think that's what that is. Rise and Shine. This is such a nice scent, but it is such a light throw. I'm so sad because on Cold Snip, it just smells like a really creamy... It rem you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those orange slushies, the orange Juliuses you get. That's what it smells like, but it's just not strong warmed. And then from Sensationals as well is Ginger Peach. I love it. It's a, just a nice, strong ginger peach scent. Can't really elaborate on it, but it's amazing. I think this next bunch is Bathing Garden. This is Pumpkin Zucchini Patch, and it's just a really nice zucchini scent. I really don't get the pumpkin when I warm it. You just get the zucchini, and it's nice. No complaints with that. I love this so much. Almond rum cake. This is just amazing. If It's that really nice almond cakey note. Um, I don't think I get any cherry when it's warm. No, the rum is what takes the cherry away. It's amazing. I like that one. Moving on, the next one is tinsel. And this is just a really nice, it's kind of minty, um, kind of minty scent. With like some cinnamon, but not a whole lot. And some, it almost not Vicks Vapor Rub, but the, the thing that tingles your nose. I can't think of it. Alright, moving on. I don't want to cut this video too. <laughs> this, I love this. It's from the bathing garden as well, Secret Garden. This is amazing. It's just so spearminty and peppermint. It's like she took all the mints and put them together. And it is so amazing. It clears your sinuses up, and it's just, I love that one. I love them all. I keep saying that. Sorry. And this is Super Soldier. And this one was kind of odd. 
because it kind of smelled like grape Kool-Aid to me, but warmed, I didn't smell anything. Yeah, this one, I don't know. It just didn't do well warmed. For me, anyway. Might do well for somebody else. Cinnamon apple peach. And this is pretty much just, it was, it is nice, but seemingly when it's warmed, you get a lot more of the cinnamon. Like on cold stuff, it's not too bad with cinnamon. I don't mind cinnamon, but I know some people do. And, um, yeah. The cinnamon really comes out when it's warm. But it is nice. Okay, these were my empties. This is from Haley's Heavenly Scents in whipped peppermint. And this was just a nice creamy peppermint. It was amazing. Sensationals, strawberry cream, pretty much just strawberry cream scent. And it was a good throw. That thing would last forever, the strawberry and cream. Uh, creamy spiced eggnog. It's just a nice creamy vanilla. It was really good for mixing. And then this one is from Eagle Rock, and it is in Christmas Splendor. This was just a nice orange spice clove note. I loved it. It's gone. So, yeah. If I can get to them. I will get on to the candles really quick here. Okay. Start with Tiffany's because I only have one. This was in the scent of Breakfast at Tiffany's and Gooey Donut Shop. And it was a wood wick. And it melted beautifully. The wick was centered, but I warmed it on my warmer, so that's why it's off now. It was amazing. It burned beautifully. The sound was great. And the smell was awesome. I love this. I'm going to have to order more from her. Yeah, now it just smells like wick. I really enjoyed that. This is from Celebrating Home. I'm not sure where you can buy this. I bought this for my niece for a fundraiser she was doing. And it was in vanilla cream. And it melted beautifully. I didn't have any problems. And it smelled great. So yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look online if you can get them or not. Whoa. This was Saltwater Taffy from Slacken & Co. And on the bottom, it says, Classic Seaside Sweet Life Light Fluffy Vanilla Cream Whipped with Fresh Strawberries and Cherries. I didn't get all that. It was a creamy scent, but it wasn't very strong throw. But it also was a small candle, so maybe that's why. Moving to Pumpkin Caramel Latte from Slacken. And it's a frothy blend of creamy pumpkin, sweet vanilla cream, rich pralines. It's topped with a spiced caramel swirl. And this is strong. I love it. Can't say enough about it. It's one of my favorites from them. Okay, this one was Woodland Berry. Woodland Berry's juicy orange and fresh apple blend with cinnamon and allspice with a touch of brown sugar. And this, all of these have melted wonderfully from Slacken. Never had an issue. Um, well, besides the drowning wicks, but not with these. And this was just a nice woody berry scent. Moving on to Twinkling Night, and the bottom reads, an inspired shimmering fragrance to set the scene for the perfect holiday effect. Luscious blackberry and sweet nectar layered with notes of dark woods and patchouli. Yeah. This was pretty nice. You could smell some of it. It was, I don't know, I just liked it. It was kind of like, like that fizzy pop note in there, and it was sweet. And you did get some fruity. I did enjoy that one. And if I can reach it. Come here. Cinnamon nut bread. And it just says in the bottom. Warm and comforting on a cold fall day. Fresh baked shortbread with cinnamon buttercream and nuts. And this was a pretty light throw for me. Um, melted beautifully. And it did smell good. It just wasn't super strong. Now for my last candle. And the biggest disappointment of them all. And it is from Yankee. And it is in peppermint cocoa. And you may ask, wow, that's a lot of wax left. Yeah, it is. And <laughs> I did everything to get this candle to burn. I had the wick trimmed. I lit it. I let it go. And it started to tunnel. So I put a a luma lid on top, thinking that would correct it. Nope, it didn't. Then I tried the aluminum foil trick. Didn't work. This candle was a huge fail, and 
I'm disappointed. So I had to throw it on my warmer, and I'm finally just sick of it, so it's just going to go in the garbage, which really irritates me. So yeah, that one really sucked. So that was my weekly mails. Thanks for watching if you stuck with me through both parts. And I have some exciting hauls coming up that I can't wait to share with you guys. So keep watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.